What's up, champions? What's going on out there, man? It is the homie, main man, made man in the building. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing, man. What's up, fam? How y'all doing out there, man? Y'all keep swinging out there, champions, all day. You know what I mean? The thing is, I want to talk about Showtime Sean Porter. Now, Showtime Sean Porter got some quotes out today. And it's very unfortunate for real because he's giving an angle on the situation between maybe him and the Terrence Crawford. And it's not a good angle. And honestly, there's a lot of truth in what Sean Porter is saying, unfortunately. And and that's given the light of things that uh, in the point that we are today in boxing. Sean Porter is pretty much indicating that given the recent words of Bob Arum towards Terrence Crawford and how he's losing so much money on Terrence Crawford. Well, Sean Porter feels like he's not in the cards for Terrence Crawford. And this is something that he's been trying to get across to people. He's not part of the company line. They may see him as a high risk. And most importantly, given that Ch uh, Terrence Crawford's contract is so good, Bob Aaron may not have the appetite to want to pay for a Terrence Crawford versus Sean Porter. Sean Porter, it's no secret, he's not the most popular guy in the world. He's not the biggest draw in the world. Can't make a ton of money off Showtime Sean Porter. Earl Spence Jr. exposed Sean Porter for not being able to fill out a family dinner. And these type of things are scary. To Bob Arum when it comes to that FET contract that turns Crawford is commanding. Let's get into the words of Sean Porter. He says, and I quote, he does not feel he can make that money with Sean Porter. He knows he can make it with Earl Spence Jr. And he knows that he can make it with Manny Pacquiao. I'm going to stop right there. That's exactly right. Bob Arum has if it's not Bob Arum saying Earl Spence, it's Terrence Crawford saying Manny Pacquiao. Those are the only two names that are circulating amongst Terrence Crawford's camp. Now, at least for right now. Now, I mean, of course, you know, fans are not going to mind. I mean, those are the fights that fans want to see anyway. So if that's the direction that Terrence Crawford has got his head in, I'm sure a lot of fans will back him on that. Now, in this Sean Porter situation, though, we've been talking about it for quite some time. And, you know, truth be told, this question now goes back for the last few years as to whether Terrence Crawford would face Showtime Sean Porter. Now, we've gotten every excuse in the book in the past. We've gotten everything from their friends to their best of friends to they love each other to they never thought about it to you just a lot of stuff. And clearly, there wasn't really much of an appetite for a fight between these two. But I think that fans stay with it so much that it's forcing these two to have to speak like this towards, towards one another. Now, Terrence Crawford is not backing down away from the challenge. He is just, I think, more reluctant to the challenge, given the, the financial situation, most importantly. And he doesn't really want to expose his homeboy and Sean Porter. Like, I don't want to expose the world and say, hey, my guy just don't want to pay for you because you don't command no money or attention. No, 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 no. He doesn't want to come out and, and embarrass Sean Porter in that fashion and vice versa for Sean Porter. So this is the way they kind of been doing things in the public. Just every little chance they kind of get get a little something out there. They kind of backtrack on it. They put something out there. They kind of backtrack on it. And so, you know, it's just made fans frustrated with the whole situation in a way. Well, this is a little different now. Because now Sean Porter is number one in the WBO. So whether or not Bob Aaron wants to pay for it or not, technically, it can be ordered as a mandatory. And he will have no choice. Now, this is one of the strategic moves that PBC did. They, they placed one of their fighters in the number one position. They've kept a, one of their fighters there for a while. Prior to uh, Sean Porter, it was Danny Garcia. So they've been stopping up that number one spot in the WBO as if they have their eyes on that WBO. But Sean Porter is there now. And like I said before, whether Bob Aaron wants to pay for it or not, that fight is coming due. As long as Sean Porter remains in the number one position, the mandatory must come due soon. Now, we know Terrence Crawford's contract is not ending until next October. So what is he going to do till then? I don't think that the PBC side, as far as a Pacquiao or Earl Spence fight, is going to happen at least until then. They're not going to try to make a move on that, I don't believe, until his contract is up. Unless Bob Aaron has something cut on the side with Al Heyman that we just don't know about, which happens in boxing all the time. So we'll see. Let's keep on reading Sean Porter's quote. He says, and I quote, he does not know he can make it with Sean Porter because Sean Porter does not have a belt. There's a lot of risk in that fight with Sean Porter. I'm not mad at it and I understand it fully. 
But when I talk about Sean Porter not being part of the company line, everybody is talking about Terrence Crawford fighting Earl Spence Jr. and fighting Manny Pacquiao and so on and so forth. But no one is talking about him fighting me. Let me stop right there. We've been talking about him fighting you for a while. We've been honestly, some, some fans really, really want to see that fight. It's not about that. It's about the appetite of the promoter at this point. You know, a lot of cases we've always, uh, at one, you know, any given month, the blame for whoever didn't make this fight can change at the snap of a finger. One minute it's Crawford's fault, then it's Porter's fault, then it's Bob's fault, then it's Crawford's fault. When you got this much confusion like this, it's never good. And it just seems like that there's no appetite for the fight right now. I don't know. I don't know. But like I said before, Bob Arum, and his financial concerns may only be limited here because of this mandatory situation that may come due. So Sean Porter has not been named the mandatory. He's in the number one position. And I caution everyone before it's even done, there could be an opportunity chance that they don't choose Sean Porter as the mandatory. And I just want everyone to have their third eye open for that. Remember something, just because you're in the number one position in the WBO does not automatically make you the mandatory. Dillian White was the number one in the WBO for quite some time, but was not made the mandatory. Olesander Usyk was made the mandatory. And Olesander Usyk has been waiting almost two years. So if things can change, things can move in certain directions when you're dealing with this. And especially when you're dealing with a Bob Arum who have so much influence with the sanctioning body known as the WBO. So we just got to wait and see. I mean, I'm with Sean Porter. I'm just giving, going by the words of Bob Arum, recent words, it doesn't seem like they got the appetite or the financial uh, will to want to pay for Sean Porter. And maybe unless he's getting that 75-25 split. Now, I don't know if Sean Porter is going to enter a fight for that type, type of money. I mean, no matter how big the glory is, you know, winning Terrence Crawford's name and pound for pound status and things like that. I don't know. I don't know, but the split with the WBO is never nothing nice. And we'll see if Sean Porter is down to do that. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, man, this is this is a some of Crawford fans are also going to read this and they're going to say, yo, man, uh, this is Sean Porter once again coming out when he know he has cover. You know, Sean Porter has a habit of coming out speaking on Crawford this way when Crawford has a fight schedule or when Crawford is tied up with something else. And now here we are. See, he's having a public disagreement with his promoter. And it's like Sean Porter's using that to co as cover at this point. So we'll see. We'll just see. At the end of the day, you know, if we're going to see who's going to bluff on this, it, all of this talk is just cheap. We're going to see by action. If Sean Porter removes himself from the number one spot in the WBO, I don't care what Bob is saying. Then put it, if Sean Porter want to walk out of this clean, you stay where you are. You let them walk away. And you walk from, away from this super clean name still intact, not known as a ducker. Let them make the move. At the end of the day, no one has to do anything. And the first person that blink is the bluffer. So we're dying to see who's the bluffer. Because at this point, it ain't going to be about words no more. It's going to be about actions. And I'm dying to see all day. Thumbs up for the fam on the way out if you didn't hit it on the way in. Catch up with y'all real soon. Much love to everyone in Main Man Made Man's Boxing Forum on Facebook. Much love to the whole YouTube fam family, man. Had a great time yesterday on yesterday's live stream, man. All day salute to everyone everyone man and i catch up with y'all real soon man and until the next video peace out